give Big Blue Nation a reason to be holly and jolly over their Wildcats yesterday. But let's not forget what happened last year. The Bruins won it rough in December. Then UK took down UCLA to advance to the Elite Eight. In short, December basketball, somewhat irrelevant. There were many positives from the game. Hami Diallo continues to grow. His 18 points made it five straight games of double-digit scoring for Diallo. Wenyon played his best game this season, 16 for Gabriel. He went three of four from deep in the ball game. There's one of them right there. And then Kevin Knox showing glimpses of Kevin Durant with the slam. He, ooh, look at that. He had 15. Coach Cal needs more of those performances, and he's hoping this loss can lead to more wins. As much as you hate to say it, you got to get knocked in the mouth and lose, and then it's got to hurt every player, and then they start figuring out, okay, not going to be able to play the way I want to play. I mean, again, we tried to make the hardest plays when the, we were in the guts of the game. They're getting better. They're, they're so much better than they were a month ago. We played a team that wanted the game worse than we wanted it, and so we deserve to lose it. Quade was looking good early in those shades, but his stat line yesterday, ugly. One of seven shooting, 0 of 4 from behind the line, and he turned the ball over three times. Not a good day at the office for Quade. Quade just seemed out of, out of sync, and I don't know why, both on offense and defense, so, you know, it wasn't his night. And we needed him to make some baskets. We really did. And, uh, but that's okay. He's, they're not machines. They're not computers. They don't play great every night out. There's a 100% chance the Wildcats will win in this matchup. The question is, which Wildcats will be victorious? The computers, they like Northwestern early. A 70% chance is what the football power index shows. We're less than a week away from kickoff down in Nashville. Kentucky is aiming to give their fans a late Christmas gift and start off their new year calling themselves champions. Anytime you can finish the season with a win in a bowl game, it's special. Uh, and I, I just gave them, it's, I know this, it's a heck of a lot better going out to the podium and getting a bowl championship trophy than it is going back to the locker room and going home. Some Christmas Eve Who Day action. Since he hosted Detroit down 10-6 in the third, the Red Rifle Andy Dalton finds C.J. Uzama to put the Bengals up three. Since he up six in the fourth quarter, Matthew Stafford here is going to drop back and connect with Eric Ebron. He takes it inside the red zone down to the five-yard line. Detroit would score, so the Bengals down one. The Bengals have had some problem with kicking the last couple of years. Not Randy Bullock. 51 yards away, splits the uprights with ease. Would have been good from 55 since he takes the lead. And then why not pat on some insurance? Giovanni Bernard, what a day for him. 116 yards rushing, 52 yards receiving. Bengals snap a three-game skid, 26-17. to 17. They win it. J.J. Watt may be injured, but that doesn't mean he hasn't provided inspiration this season. Christmas is a time to give, and J.J. Watt has gone above and beyond like he always does. Tomorrow, before the Texans take on the Steelers, they will feature Watt's effort on raising millions and millions of dollars. You can see it right here on, ES, or on NBC. Tonight, Houston stretched to its limits. I felt helpless. I said, how can I possibly help in a bigger way? I said, let's see if we can raise $200,000. How long did that take? Yeah, that turned out to be a vast underestimation. <laughs> yeah. We hit the $200,000 within less than two hours. We just passed the $1 million mark. $1.5 million goal crushed. $3.25 million right now. $5.1 million, $10 million mark. $15 million mark, $20 million mark. We were able to raise over $37 million, so people are incredible. We have a lot of negativity in the world today, and there's so much division. For me, the wow moment was seeing everybody come together. Awesome stuff from an awesome dude. We will be right back.